Hello everybody and welcome to the MacMo's Daily Vlog. I'm Gary. Uh, I'm Jay. And I, I have MacMo's through my head. <laughs> and uh, a bunch of us here just got these new flip cams. Woohoo! Christmas flip cams! See, they, they, that's why they call it a flip cam. So you press the button. it's got the USB. Well, it, it, it's a very lightweight, small uh, uh, video recorder yeah. that records directly to flash memory. The flip video. And it has a uh, USB uh, you know, port on the side. Yes. And you plug it right into your Mac. Mm hmm. And it's about the size of. Well, they used to have these things, ancient things, they're called cigarette packs. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard it. What were in them? <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like a little refrigerator for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah the, the refrigerators that have the little menu, the video menu. On the front. On. It's so like it's a cool, it's a cool, it's very, awesome. very light. And, uh,. Mm -hmm. They're really cool, and anything take pretty decent quality of video, uh, regular standard definition, 640, 480, yeah. 30 frames a second, and uh, can store, on this model, can store an hour. They have other models that can store a half hour. And, um, but you, here's the best thing about them. Completely built for Mac. I mean, it's Windows 2, but Mac is all in there. It's on the box. It's in the, when you plug it in, into the, uh, into your drive, the software is actually on it. So it doesn't come with a CD. The software is actually on this, and it just plugs in and works sort of as a USB stick drive. And you can run the software from there, or drag it to your applications folder. And uh, and I think this is actually this, also in the office here. Uh, not as cool, but uh, share something in common. We just got a printer in from Brother, Brother uh, HL27, 2070. And the neat thing about that, and that also is very Mac compatible. It's also on the box, on the specs. comes with a CD with Mac drivers, which you don't need, of course, because the drivers are already on Leopard. And... Um, you just basically... You're not uh, just realizing this now. What? I mean, you knew before you bought it. Well, yes. No, no, no. But I'm saying, uh, yet another product that completely be really built for Mac as well as Windows. And, right. and everything's really good. There's actually one little tiny thing I had to do in Windows because we're using the printer in a special way. But if you're just hooking up USB or you've got a standard, you know, uh, network setup, it's all Mac. And uh, But at the same time, I was at uh, uh, one of the computer stores, um, Micro Center, near here. And I wanted to see if there was a webcam I could get because I like my eyesight, but it's stationary on the mm -hmm. on, on yeah. the MacBook. I want to have something and I plug in and then point and put it on a tripod. Yeah. And I, however, do not like eyesights at all. Well, yeah, but that, but yeah. anyway, I wanted something I can point. Like basically, the eyesight we're using right now is mm -hmm. the old eyesight in the tube, and you which and I wish stick they, it on a tripod. I wish they hadn't stopped. I wish they had stopped making that because they were great. And the thing is, you go and there's all these <clears throat> webcams, and none of them work for Mac. Or if they do, they don't say they do, or they don't support it. And I know better than to buy Logitech products for Mac because yeah. they support, like, the oh, driver yeah. that, that is released with the product, but they never update it. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, so there's basically no webcams you could buy for the Mac, but yet printers, like Brother Printers, and I know HP is pretty good with Mac stuff, too, yeah. and uh, as well as Canon. And then uh, cameras like this, this flip cam, which could have very easily been something that just ignored the Mac market, but instead embraces it. Yeah. But they could make this into a webcam if they really, really tried. Somebody, yeah, that's one, uh, one of the things I hate about But well, there's some cameras that do, like my, so my um, Panasonic uh, really good, um, you know, uh, uh, still camera. Mm -hmm. You know, has a million features on it and all that. But the one thing I can't, I can't figure out if there's a way to plug it in USB and actually have it take pictures mm -hmm. from or, or, or video. I would love it if they had that, that through. Well, this is kind of a, this is a Mac thing. Is that usually on USB buses they don't look for video there. Mm -hmm. Is as they look, they it's been so ingrained that they think in terms of FireWire, is that that's where they look for the video. And so, like if you have QuickTime Pro, for example, or if you have uh, your iMovie or whatever, and you hook up any FireWire camera, it's great. But some of these new camcorders are USB two only. And m most of them, in fact, do not work with with a Mac or iMovie. Or, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Microphones, that's are, very good. Yeah. microphones are hard to find for Macs too. Uh, yeah. But there's there's a much. really good. I mean, the head all the headsets I have. Of course, I have a Plantronics headset, which is the best headset out of all the ones I've tried. The Logitech headset doesn't work very well. I have other cheap ones I've bought at Office Max and stuff. They don't work very well. Yeah. Plantronics works great. Has great audio quality and volume, except that it shows up as unknown USB device. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, why does it show up as an unused USB device set? A Plantronics headset. Like, 
Because it's yeah. like a superhero. See, if it revealed uh -huh. its identity... See, it's the mask. Its family would be threatened. So anyway, hardware or manufacturers, please. Huge Mac audience. We love buying peripherals. We love getting quality products. Why not build the drivers? Why not make your stuff Mac compatible? Drivers wanted. Thank you.